Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Cyrus and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be reacting to Family Guy Dark Humor compilation. So without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. After all, I used to work the suicide hotline. I, I just can't take it. I discovered my wife's been cheating on me for a while. And I just, I can't live like this. I have to kill myself. Doesn't it make more sense to kill her? <laughs> you can count on me. The same I knew it. Counted on me during the Apollo 13 crisis. All right, I'm gonna need three coffins, mahogany with brass handles, three new daddies for the dead astronauts' kids, and a black suit for me. Sir, I think I know a way we can get them back. Is it hard? It might be. Yeah, we we've kind of already decided we're going in this direction. <laughs> for years now, I've been planning on retiring at 45 so I can work on finding a cure for Alzheimer's disease. Peanut, are those testicles? Where did you get those? I don't remember. <laughs> stick together like that two-headed girl on TLC. Okay, who wants to taste it and who wants to smell it? I'm tired of living with morons. Remember when I tried to open that lemonade stand with Chris? All right, that'll be 10 cents. Chris, pour the man his lemonade. I can't. The lemonade tricked me and got away. <laughs> Lemons are God's children. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find out where the party is and get Meg out of there. You're right. What happened? It seems like just yesterday she was born. Mr. Griffin, would you like to cut the cord? Sure. Okay, that wasn't the cord, and now you've got a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot about that. Who you are. Wow. Thanks, Lois. That's the second best advice anyone's ever given me. I don't know, man. Jesus, Hitler, Christ. <laughs> weird. So just go with age. Yeah. <laughs> right, for the next 72 hours, I'm going to be harder to find than a nice cat. You need me to clean out your litter box? <laughs> Mittens. Oh, she's busy with a book. Maybe I can help. How about I read you this book? It's called Apathetic George. George used to be a curious monkey, but after a month in captivity, all he did was wait for food. The zoo people wanted him to mate, but he lost interest in that, too. Twenty years and millions of dollars in zoo revenue later, he died. Okay, I've had enough. <laughs> Curious judge. This one. Hey, looking at you pretty normal, huh? No. <laughs> ah, fudge. Wait, I know. I'll figure this out. The, the pieces are all there. I, I'll go home and figure this out. At least now no one's forcing us to watch those awful PBS documentaries. <clears throat> and now PBS presents Albino Children Are Normal. So, with the exception of not being able to go out in the sun, you're completely normal? Yeah. Implication is they are vampires. Son, I like to kill beetles. <laughs> beetles are teachers. I sleep with a fork. That's what all the star athletes do. Ugh, I'm so sick of all the special treatment they get, even during school shootings. Kevlar vest? Kevlar vest? I forgot about this joke. Oh, man. <laughs> are you a starter? These are for starters only. I'll be a starter next year. <laughs> the next year, you can have a vest. This Some fucked up shit. Maybe we should just let the clam go and, I don't know, spend more time with our families. Yeah, I tried that. I just spent most of the time testing Chris to see if he's autistic. <laughs> <coughs> Not overly affectionate. There you go. That's the spirit, buddy. There's a little bit of good in everyone. Except that president guy from the Hunger Games. He was pretty bad. This year, in addition to the yeah, Hunger Games, fucked up. we're going to do the special Hunger Games. <laughs> <laughs> That was good, man. Why does Kevin always sit at the bus stop and never gets on a bus? Please don't bring that up. Don't bring anything he does up. Hey, you guys. You're right on time. Kevin just woke up screaming from his afternoon nap. Mom, it's my birthday and you invited your friends. All yours are dead. <laughs> oh, fuck. I forgot about this. Shit. <laughs> Doesn't bother me. I'm just, you know, one friend to another. Well, what, you got a problem with me? You think I'm gross? No. Don't do that. No. Oh, I fucking hate shit like this. I really yeah, do. I this can't. Is what you are. This is what I am. <laughs> and three weeks, and you haven't had a single job leave. Well, that's not true. I came really close with that job at the school. So, what makes you want to be a crossing guard? I don't know. I just thought it would be cool to decide which kids do and don't get hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to go to Chicago on Thursday. I can't. This week is the death game. <coughs> oh, I know. Oh my 
god, this has been a 12 minute round. <laughs> <Why does laughs> that, they're the ringing the bell. <laughs> That's wild, Stacy. I'm a 12 year old girl, too. My name's Jenny. Wanna come over to my place and help me move? Hey, you're not a 12 year old girl. Neither are you, Jenny. Huh. I guess we aren't so different after all. Yeah. You know, this isn't a whole lot of stuff. We can probably knock this out in an hour. <laughs> Where are you gonna go? I don't know. Somewhere far away. Maybe China. I hear they got NASCAR there now. Oh, I've seen that one as well. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this note I sent off. Dear Pakistan. Up yours. Love, India. Let's see what happens. That's a good joke. I really do like that. <laughs> because I'm from Pakistan. <laughs> No, they fucking don't. Yeah, and these are the best seats in the house for catching home run balls. Oh, that'd be sweet. The only souvenir I ever got was at that stock car race. What the fuck? Did he get a head or something? Yeah, he got a head. I didn't know that. I was seeing that. I just God, really dodged a bullet there. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Everybody makes mistakes, even doctors. You forgot to I say. I forgot to say clear. <laughs> <laughs> the of the oh, thank you. You know, half the time those things didn't really work. How was it, honey? Oh, they couldn't finish. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I gotta go back tomorrow. Oh, well, I made cabbage for dinner. Yeah, that would be the ending to this day. <laughs> for example, here's what happened when we fertilized an egg from Shelley Duvall with a sperm from James Blunt. What the fuck? Here's Hillary Swank and Gary Busey. Florence Griffith Joyner and Sarah <laughs> Hawkins. <laughs> Tina Fey and Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, I think we're fine. A lot of face stuff going on in that. <laughs> people in get. Well, honey, I've extended our line of credit and exhausted all our savings. We should be good for another month. Oh, that's great, honey. Well, what are we going to do next month? Well, I'll tell you what we're not going to do. Shoot all of our children and then kill ourselves. You <laughs> <laughs> don't have any control over it. All right, Joe, let's lose the wheelchair and shoot this thing. Peter, I can't lose the wheelchair. I need it to move. Okay, yeah, but your character can walk. Peter, I'm handicapped. I can't walk. Okay, Chris, roll film and action. Joe, get out of the damn chair. Chris, get the cattle prod. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this one as well. It's a good one. I like that. Should have taken the shot, fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> I really do like this one. <laughs> uh, you don't want to get involved with them religious groups. They believe in all kinds of weird stuff. No, you don't. If I believe in Jesus hard enough, I will not die. If I believe in Snake Jesus hard enough, he will die. If I believe in Tree Jesus hard enough, both of them will die. <laughs> hey, thank you, Tree Jesus. Griffins have a long history of figuring stuff out. Like my great-grandfather, who invented the first marital aid. Oh. This gives me an idea. <laughs> She's dead. Idiot, you've been able to rate this rate to that rate. That's nothing. Oh, is it? I died! I died! <laughs> Joe, what are you doing? Enjoying heaven. Heaven. Yeah. <laughs> There's a gun in my nightstand. I'll be honest. There's a gun in my nightstand. Usually he's just reminded me that whatever plot I'm roughing up ain't worth it. You son of a bitch! I ought to kill you right here! Uh, hey! This punk's not worth it. You're right. <laughs> You're not worth it. Find a way to channel your anger. What I do is throw a shot put into a crowd and make it look like an accident. <laughs> I forgot That's to make it look like <laughs> You look nice, so I'll blow my burps the other way. You're funny. Oh, thanks. Usually people just find me awkward. I have a hard time with small talk. Did you find everything you were looking for? Yeah, I did all right for a guy who just had his first homosexual experience. <laughs> hey, people got along just fine for thousands of years without AA. Just like they got along for thousands of years without religion. I like you and have no reason not to. I like you and have no reason not to. Hey, did you hear about that magic baby that was born in Bethlehem? <laughs> <laughs> Believe in, like Patrick Henry. <laughs> give me liberty or give me death. Oh, that, that was easy. <laughs> I know. Ryan wanted to give him liberty. You do the paperwork, Ryan. All right, we'll come to dinner. 
but I want you to know I'm very skeptical about this whole thing. Oh, that's okay. Uh, hey, listen, I was skeptical about traveling to Mexico. I took one step outside the resort. Meow. So, uh, that was Family Guy Dark Humor Compilation. And the thing is, actually, I've seen most of the jokes, uh, where he throw the boulder. Uh, I haven't seen that one. And there are a few other, I, uh, I don't remember. Uh, it's actually quite funny. The thing is, I'm a huge fan of Family Guy. I used to watch all the time. Now, I don't watch as often as I used to. But I still enjoy it. There's some really good moments. And they really do know how to make jokes. Uh, quite stand out especially that joke about the school shootings like if you are not the second grader you don't get a uh, bulletproof vest and the fact is they're actually making that joke is even darker the fact that is the true fact in school not about the priority it's just that you have to wear bulletproof vest in schools uh, in America which is quite fucked up to be honest I'm not gonna lie and that joke about India and Pakistan Eh, somewhat true. I'm not gonna lie. It's funny shit. They already had three wars. India, India, between Pakistan. And they all visit the neck of each other. But we don't hate each other. The general public don't hate it, uh, each other. It's just the politicians that fuck us over. But still, everything about the jokes, every uh, bit is really good. I really enjoyed that. And the soldier joke is actually, quite sadly, it is true. At the same time, it is quite funny. Uh, why... Uh, Kevin always sitting at the bus stop and not going anywhere or the fact that he wake up screaming because of PTSD or shell shock uh, how you, uh, George Carlin would call it so the whole thing was quite funny I am gonna be doing a lot more uh, family guy and the thing is I've seen quite a lot a lot of it so it's gonna be repeated but I still enjoy it so keep an eye on it and meanwhile if you like this uh, like subscribe share and leave a, leave a comment also uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are in the description down below. And I'll see you guys next time.